Sarah, thanks for joining me today. It is day seven of Vlogmas. Um, I have the morning off, so I'm just doing little bits and bobs of sewing. There's my Vivian coat in the background. I've contacted Sew Over It uh, this morning for some further information on finishing off the hemline of the coat. So hopefully I'll have progress on that soon, but probably not today. Um, so let me show you what I'm working on. So I'm just making a little something here as a gift for someone. It's going to be a Christmas decoration. I'm not going to tell you who for. I think they probably won't watch this, but they might. Um, so I've just cut out little hearts. I'm just free free wheeling to see what happens. So some little hearts. I'm going to interface them. And then my plan is to embroider something on here. Then part sew them up, stuff them, put a little ribbon in. Bob's your uncle, we have a Christmas decoration. I will let you know how that goes. It's a bit messy, freehand, but we're getting there. Okay, so it was supposed to be a heart, and when I turned it through, I think I just made it too narrow once the seam allowances were included. So it's more like, I mean, I don't know what shape you would call that. It's a bit like a paper aeroplane. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I think it's quite cute. And hopefully uh, the recipient will appreciate the thought behind it. Just a quick little sewing project. It's stuffed with scraps. So again, a really good way to use up scraps. And it uses just the tiniest amount of fabric. As I said, if I did this again, I would make the um, hearts a bit wider. These bits a bit wider. Um, just so that they're more rounded rather than pointed at the edges. Um, you could also potentially do something. I mean, it looks a bit like a heart, doesn't it? That bit was down. Does it? I don't know. Anyway, so that is finished. A speedy project this morning. Good evening, everybody. I hope you've had a good day. Um, as you'll see, I'm somewhere different today. I'm in uh, one of the rooms that I teach in for the evening. And I've got a student who normally has a long lesson who is off sick today. So I thought I would do my chatty bit now. Uh, I hope you've all had a good day. I have, I did a bit of sewing this morning, a bit of embroidery, and uh, then I've just been working all afternoon. I took some pictures of a couple of outfits. Um, I'm really behind on documenting what I've been making. So I just photographed a couple, and then I've got a couple more to do in the next few days, I think. Um, but yeah, so here's a photo of my sagebrush. Now you've already seen my sagebrush on this channel. I think I wore it on the first day of Vlogmas, so this is old news to you, but that's what I photographed today and posted over on my Instagram. Incidentally, if you are on here and not on Instagram um, and you don't follow me yet, I'm there as um, at Superbales. So no, the sews bit isn't there in my Instagram one, at Superbales. It was my personal account before um, I started sewing. So uh, yeah, so the name has nothing to do with sewing. Uh, right, so I thought I'd tell you a bit about some bits and bobs that have happened today. So I finished making that Christmas decoration. It was quite useful uh, in the shape. I mean, when I sewed it up, I just drafted it myself. Um, and for a heart, I now know I need to make the little peak bits quite wide to take in the uh, seam allowance um, that they lose. So that was useful to know. Um, it did make me think maybe for wedding favours, I could make little Christmas decorations for everybody. Our wedding's not a Christmas, but it's in October. Um, <laughs> but uh, I just sort of thought, oh, then I've got time to make, I can make quite simple shapes. I can embroider things onto them. They're very quick to sew, easy to transport. I can put all my scraps in them um, and you can use little scraps to make them. So I'm thinking maybe something like that could be quite nice. Um, yeah, I received a delivery today from Jenny Stitches. I don't have it with me because it's at home and I'm at work. Um, but it was just a few little Notion-y type things. And then uh, uh, they have A0 printing. So I got the Elliot sweater by Helen's Closet printed. Um, if I have time, I'll pop a picture of it up here. So I basically got this nice sort of chunky knit fabric from First for Fabrics. Um, I wanted just like a, a plain sort of sweater. I've got a lot of hoodies and casual sweaters, but I sort of wanted a jumper I could wear for work maybe um, when it's really cold. Um, but I quite wanted it to have that thing where there's like a side split and then there are two levels. So it's longer at the back than it is at the front. Um, so, and the, yeah, this is the pattern that I found that was like that, but for stretch fabrics. So, uh, that's 
arrived. So I'm hoping I might be able to cut that out. Probably not tomorrow, maybe on Friday. Um, and I'm going to play around. So it has like a cowl neck. And I don't think my fabric has enough stretch for that to work. So I think I'm going to just do an open, like maybe even a little, like maybe a crew neck, but a bit more open. Just as I said, I'm not too sure about the stretch. And I don't think with the nature of the fabric that it would look good with ribbing. Um, so yeah, I'll have a little play around, but I'm going to play around with the neckline basically. So that's just going to be hopefully quite a speedy basic So. Um, I also thank you for the comments about Vivian. I got in touch with her over it and they've sent me a really helpful email back. They're very quick to respond. Um, so with that newfound information, I am going to have a go at it again, probably on Friday and a little bit over the weekend. Um, and they also clarified to me that it's the same method for both the sleeves and the um, hem. So I think the sleeves is a bit more fiddly because it's much more enclosed, but um yeah those are the bits that I, I the only worry after that is going to be getting the thickness of the fabric into my sewing machine for the buttonholes um <coughs> excuse me um but yeah so that was really helpful so I'm feeling a bit more hopeful about getting this coat finally finished I just can't wait to get it finished in the email they were like we're so excited to see this coat after all this time and I'm like after all this time <gasps> after all the time oh, I've been tagging them and post about it for about two months and it's still not finished we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, oh, and then the other thing, I've got an update on um, my order from myfabrics.co.uk. I don't think I'm ever going to order from them again. So there have been a few things. So like when I ordered, it said when you pressed order, it was like, it'll be 10 to 12 days to arrive. And I was like, okay, fine, order. After that, so after you've ordered and it's confirmed, they give you a link in an email that goes to a page that basically says, by the way, we're having loads of delays in our warehouse, so be aware that everything might be delayed even further. Which I get that this time of year is really busy, but I do think you should say that before people order, just because I wouldn't mind so much if I knew it was gonna be, because then you can sort of plan for like, okay, this is gonna take X amount of time to get here, so I won't plan to make that item in that window or maybe I won't order it if I'm not going to be able to get it in that time frame so that was a bit annoying but I was like it's fine it's fine these things happen and then anyway so it's been over 12 days since I ordered um I hadn't had anything else and then I got an email today just with uh, a dispatch notice and basically in the dispatch notice the main thing I ordered from them which was this gold flecked black viscose fabric is not in the order so it's in my original order email, but it's not in the confirmation they've sent. And I've emailed them twice to be like, where is the rest of the fabric? So basically they're sending all the notions. So there was like elastic and there was things like that. Um, but the fabric's not in there. I can't get an answer to them. So I don't know if they're going to send it at a later date. I don't know if they're out of it. I don't know. I can't get an answer out of them. So um, it's just a faff. And I think the, the notions and, and stuff, I only ordered them... Like the fabric was the main thing I went there for because I wanted to make a skirt that could I could wear with a few of the different tops I have. And they have this nice sort of gold flecked fabric that I thought would match with lots of things. Um, and then the other bits and bobs I just got because I was like, well, if I'm ordering and paying delivery, I may as well get this other stuff. And now I'm just getting all the other stuff and not the bit that I actually ordered. It's really annoying. And I and I think as well, again, it's like if they'd emailed and said, we're really sorry we're out of this fabric or this fabric's delayed but you'll get the rest of your order. But I've not heard anything. So if I hadn't read the thing, I wouldn't have even known that um, it wasn't being sent. So, yeah, I mean, we'll see when it comes and we'll see if they get back to me. Uh, but the experience of it hasn't been great. Um, I think the branding's a bit misleading. I think the way they only tell you about the extra delays after you've ordered is also a bit misleading. Um... And then the fact that stuff just disappears and they don't, they're not upfront about it. Again, I get it. These things happen, but it's just like, if you let people know, you know, if they'd email me and say, we're so sorry, we're out of this, or we're not going to have this, but we'll send everything else. I'd have been like, cool, fine. But I'm a bit like, I don't know if the fabric's coming or not. Um, I don't know if then I should buy some more because I want to wear it for this concert next week. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just complaining because it's irritating, but it's not the end of the world. I have plenty of other things. So um, I'm going to be in Kingston on Friday, which is where my parents live, um, because I'm going for lunch with the lady who is doing the decor for our wedding. So we're just going for an initial chat 
Um, and then I think we'll maybe go for another one with my mum or something at some point, but we're just gonna have the initial chat of what the ideas are and then go from there. So that'd be fun. So there are also, there's a John Lewis with a fabric section, which is a little hit and miss in Kingston. And then there's also a fabric land, which is really cheap um, and has all sorts. So I might go to those. I might take you on a little journey, don't know. Um, I'm after some Royal Blue Mariflex thread. And I don't know if either shop will have them. I contacted the little, uh, there's a little um, sewing shop in Godalming and they said they don't have Mariflex. And it's one of those things where if I order it, it's not gonna come for a little while. Um, so I'm, I'm just seeing if I can think of anywhere where I could just walk in and buy it. Don't know. Um, anyway, I'm just chit-chatting random stuff now. Uh, <laughs> so uh, tomorrow, I am in school pretty much all day, so it's not going to be the most exciting one tomorrow. Uh, and then I have choir rehearsal, so it's work. I think I start work at like nine, and then I don't nine a.m. and then I don't get back. My choir doesn't finish until ten p.m., so it's a really really long work day tomorrow. So I'll try and check in, but I don't think I have much to say. Probably, so I think it will be a short one. But if anything happens, and suddenly it's not a short one, well, you'll see tomorrow, I guess. Um, great. Anyway, thanks for tuning in again. If you're enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe um, and leave a comment below. I'm really enjoying chatting to people. So, all right, take care, bye.